But I wonder if you would, uh, for me, General, define for me who it is that our enemy is in Iraq. Who are we fighting? Well, uh, what I've said, actually, if I could just point out first, uh, you'll be heartened to hear that the Al Qaeda Emir of Arab Jabor was killed in the, in the last several days as well. And that, as you know, that's in the Arab Jabor area there. And that was uh, in an area that was. Uh, a sanctuary for Al Qaeda southeast of Baghdad in an area in which uh, operations are planned, uh, set up, and then run into Baghdad. So it is a significant uh, accomplishment it, it, it kind of by like those the conduit to Baghdad. Base so. Murray. Yes, sir. Uh, sir, um, I, I use the term that the, the enemy, the wolf closest to the sled, is Al Qaeda Iraq because it is the enemy that has in the past uh, ignited the uh, enormous escalation in ethno-sectarian violence by some of its actions. Uh, the, the bombing in February 2006 of the Golden Dome Mosque in Samra, uh, foremost among those. And uh, the enemy that, that causes the most horrific casualties, the most sensational attacks, uh, and again has an effect at, at, at times or tries to have an effect of pouring gas on burning embers wherever they can find them. Uh, they're the ones responsible, of course, for the uh, bombings of the poor Yazidi villages uh, several weeks back, of some Turkmen villages prior to that uh, south of Kirkuk, uh, and, and trying all the time, again, to, to conduct more of those types of attacks. Uh, beyond that, certainly the uh, militia extremists supported by Iran uh, are a very much a growing concern. Um, I mentioned earlier we've learned a great deal about them after capturing the head of the special groups and the Lebanese Hezbollah uh, operative who was supporting them uh, with Iran and a number of others over time. Quite a few um, uh, brigade commanders in that particular structure. Uh, and again, the impact that they have uh, is very significant because it can eat at neighborhoods uh, in many respects, it is the militia extremists at this point in Baghdad that are the cause of the ethno-sectarian violence uh, more so uh, than are uh, al-Qaeda or any other Sunni uh, extremist affiliates. And, uh, and slide num number 10, in my view, uh, gives a very graphic uh, portrayal of the success that you've had against al-Qaeda Iraq. And, we can add to this chart now the, 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 the emir that you just mentioned from my old friends at Patrol Base Murray. God bless them. Sure you can. Uh, and again, that is significant success against al-Qaeda. As I mentioned, they're off balance. We're in the pursuit mode against them, uh, certainly in many, many more places than we were before and had to take some tough casualties to go into areas that they had controlled before uh, Bakuba and, and a variety of Baghdad neighborhoods, Arab Jabor, and, and other locations. Uh, beyond that, I think uh, the, the other enemies are uh, less kinetic, but just more the, the challenges of institutions, again, that just aren't fully functioning, uh, certainly residual uh, sectarian influences. Uh, and even the degree of corruption that is uh, still in certain uh, elements in Iraq. Uh, and those present uh, big challenges, uh, as do a variety of these different issues that we have to deal with in trying to stand up the security forces uh, in getting their logistical systems working, getting the institutional structures established, uh, getting the sectarian uh, activities out, and so forth. Uh, but that lays out, I think, the, 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 the major challenges, uh, the two big ones, again, being uh, al-Qaeda and its affiliates. And there are still certainly Sunni insurgents out there, uh, loosely affiliated or, or, or not in some cases, uh, and then the, the Shia militia extremists uh, who have uh, caused such challenges in recent months.